In this video, I'll be looking at the Two Thin Coats paint range versus the Citadel paint range. We'll be looking at a variety of different colours and shades and going head to head. So I have done videos looking at Two Thin Coats before, but I've never really compared them directly with another paint line, which is what I'm doing here with the Citadel range. So hopefully this will be the start in a little series where I just compare different products from different ranges and see what they are like. So yeah, let's see what miniatures we're using and go straight to the desk. So I'm going to be using these two miniatures here that I've 3D printed from White Angel Miniatures. I'll be talking about them later on in the video. And I'll find them both black just to really test these paints out over a black surface. And here they are. So I'm going to take some full and grey. And also Car Caradon Grey, they're slightly different, there wasn't really a, um, a lighter grey in the two thin coats range. And I'll start by base coating all the areas that I want white. So starting with the Citadel colour. You can see it actually goes on really nicely to be fair. It's quite a decent coverage just for this one coat. So in all of these tests I'll be doing the same number of coats between both paints. So there's a chance we might not get the most um, smoothest coverage with one or the other. Um, it's just really to test them side by side. And then going straight in now with the two thin coats. And you can sort of see straight away that um, it goes on smoother and slightly thinner. I mean, hence the name two thin coats. And most of these layers will have two thin coats for both paints. And it certainly goes on nice and smooth. It is slightly darker though. And you'll see later in the video that um, that's probably too dark for what I really want for this white. And you can see on the front here how it just goes on really nice and smooth. And that's really good coverage. A couple of coats should be all that's needed. So here they are after a couple of coats each. And you can see they're both looking quite smooth. There's a couple of little um, bits where the print hasn't been entirely smooth on the back of that cloak there, which is a bit shame, but um, yeah, with both of them, um, they're looking really nice. There's a little bit more texture with the Citadel one, I think. With their lighter colours, you do get little dried up bits of pigment, which I don't really like. Um, the white is going to really show off here, so we've got White Scar and White Star. And I'm going to go over most of the two cloaks and all the other white areas, just leaving the grey in the recess. And yeah, with the Citadel one, um, this lighter grey certainly looks a lot better in the recesses. It's, it's quite a soft shadow where it's a bit harsher in the two thin coats range. And that's mostly just because it's a darker grey. Um, certainly, certainly nothing to do with the paint itself. Um, but if I was just not doing a side by side, I'd have just mixed a bit of white in with this grey for that previous coat. You can see the white star just goes on really nice and smooth. And it looks really nice. And there's no sort of texture where, like, as I said before with the GW one, you just get little tiny bits where the paint's just sort of dried up a little bit. Um, I find that a lot with their whites. No matter whether it's um, white scar or ceramite white. Um, no such issues. Here, yeah, of course, being in drop bottles, just makes a huge difference. That's not to say they don't get clogged up every now and then, but at least the paint inside is normally pretty good. And you certainly won't lose a whole bottle from drying up completely, unless you were to leave the entire lid off. So here's how they are both looking so far. And you can see, yeah, the um, Citadel one does look better, just from a colour choice. Um, but the white certainly looks smoother on the two thin coats one. So we're going to go into blues now, McCrag blue and marine blue. A little bit too much on my brush here, as you can see. And I am using them all to straight out the pot, which I wouldn't do normally. Um, but again, for a comparison, sort of side by side. Um, I'm only doing sort of base coats and shades on these miniatures as well, so I'm not really too concerned about any sort of minor loss of detail from using these paints straight out of a pot. It's really just for demonstration purposes. 
So yeah, I forgot to hit record when I started on Marine Blue, but here I am sort of halfway through. And you can see the blue is very similar. And again, it just flows nicely off the brush, and this is straight out of the pot as well. They're definitely slightly thinner, as you'd probably would expect. Now I'm going into metallics, using some lead belcher on the little one. And so coats silver will be used on two thin coats. Now you can see um, the lead belcher does seem quite thick straight out of the pot. And it is an old pot, so I'll give it a benefit of a doubt for that. And um, if I'd bought a brand new one, it probably wouldn't be so thick. It's just where it's dried up a little bit over time. And so coats silver now. Slightly brighter than lead belcher. And yeah, it covers over the black really nicely. Again, you see sort of how smooth it is. I'm only really slopping on here with an old brush. And then the golds, using the Retribura armour. And Retribute Armour is one of my favourite um, Citadel Metallics, so I might be a little bit biased here, because I think I do prefer it over the Dragon's Gold. And being a base paint, it just covers over the black really nicely. I do a couple of thin coats with it, as I have been doing with all the paints so far. And then the Dragon's Gold, which again is a really nice gold, it's very similar to Retributor Armour, and it does cover pretty good. Certainly a little bit thinner than Retributor Armour, but the coverage is still good. And that's one thing I do like about these paints quite a lot, they do seem very thin straight out of the pots, out of the bottles I should say, but their coverage is excellent. And really, um. I like to judge ranges more by how their metallics and lighter colours and shades work, which is why I'm sort of focusing on, on them more in this video. And the rest of the base coats I'll just be doing off camera, as they're pretty straightforward. And um, before I get into that though, let's talk about this video sponsor who are White Angel Miniatures. So they kindly provided us with some SDL files so we could 3D print our own miniatures to use in this video. They're doing the Heirs of the Sun in their June and July re releases on their Patreon. And these are really cool and very high elf looking, if you like your old school sort of high elves. And um, yeah, they've got that aesthetic going on really well. And there's some awesome miniatures. The guys on the horses just look fantastic. And I really like the guy with like the lion shoulder and that. He just looks really cool. And yeah, got some really nice stuff lined up for July. So yeah, definitely check them out. I'll put a link to their Patreon down below. And here they are with the rest of the base coats on. And you'll notice I've painted the bases green as well. And I really love how the Two Thin Coats one has like the sort of old school goblin green. It's very sort of bright. That's a GW. Speaking of which, the hair is also brighter because I didn't do a strict comparison between two yellows, I used a slightly um, brighter yellow by mistake, but I actually prefer the look of that. So it's just Avalanche Sunset on the Siddle one. I used Cadian Flesh Tone for the flesh areas and Dwarven Skin from Tooth and Coats for the flesh areas on that one. And yeah, we're going to look into doing some shade washes over these and then see how they compare. So coming straight in with the trusty Nuln Oil. And this is of course going to go over these silver areas. Again, just using it straight out of the pot. If I was painting these, um, say, properly, for want of a better word, then I'd probably thin it down just a little bit. But for purposes of comparison. And I'm a big fan of the Siddle shades, um, especially even since they've um, done the new ones. This is one of the older pots, and I still think it's absolutely fine. 
Now we're going to test the shade from Two Fins, Two Fin Coats, their black wash. Now it looks very sort of dark grey when it goes on the palette, but you'll notice as it goes on, it's plenty dark enough, and it flows into the recesses very nice. I probably would like it to be a little bit darker. But I'm sure it's not pure black for a reason. Probably just so the shades are more subtle. Next up I'm taking Seraphim Sepia to wash the gold areas again, just straight out of the pot. Now, I don't normally use this colour to shade gold quite a lot. I know a lot of people do quite commonly, but I normally prefer just sort of darker washes. Um, it goes on really nice and just adds some good depth to the gold areas. And again, the Siddle washes I think are, are plenty good enough. I do like having them in dropper bottles for the from the two two thin coats range. Um just because you're less likely to spill them. So again the wash looks quite light on my little palette thing. And it goes on quite nicely. And like the Siddle one it adds a nice depth to this gold. Not as bright as the Siddle one. So if you want your gold to be really really bright, I would suggest using the Siddle one over this, but still a really nice sh shadow colour. Now on to the flesh areas, so it's only just for face, and this guy's literally only got one hand visible. So using Gulliman Flesh, not Reglan Flesh Shade, just because um, I haven't really used it before to be fair. And I actually quite like it. I think I prefer it over the Reichland Flesh Shade. Again, that's just personal preference because I prefer just sort of darker shades. And now using the Flesh Wash from Two Thin Coats. And it goes on really nice. You can see how it just sat in them fingers really nicely. And it is fairly dark as well, so and it's quite a good comparison between the two. You know, compare really well. So I'm just going to put on a orange wash from GW on both of these because I don't have an orange wash from Two Thin Coats and this is how they both look. So really there's not a lot of difference between between them really. Um, I do really like the Two Thin Coats range. I think the consistency in all the paints is really good and as you saw in this video they go on really smoothly. Um, the end, final result though is not really too dissimilar to Citadel. I mean at the end of the day they're all acrylic paints, there's not going to be huge differences between them. A lot of it will be personal preference as well. Obviously being in drop bottles they will last longer, they'll probably need more of a shake. Um, sometimes with GW paints they sometimes even need a little stir. And they can even dry up completely over time, which is not something you really have to worry too much about with dropper bottles. Although you, they do get clogged, but that's not really a huge issue because they're quite easy to unclog. But yeah, um, if you haven't tried the Two Thin Coats paint range, I do highly recommend it. Especially if you're looking for some, some alternative to Siddle. Um, the colours do match up quite well, as you can see here. Like the, Again, there's not much difference between the two. So the colours do match quite well. And yeah, they just feel really nice to work with. Um, that said, I use Citadel colours quite a lot, especially for video tutorials because it's most commonly used. And yeah, I have some issues with them drying up and different consistencies between certain colours and that. But um, I mean, they're still quite nice to use. They're really good paints and the coverage is really good on both of them. So yeah, um, maybe not <laughs> the greatest of comparisons because um, my sort of final conclusion is that they're both good. So... Of course, the other factor is, of course, price. And as you may have guessed, the Citadel ones are on the more expensive side. You get a little bit more in a Two Thin Coats paint bottle than you do in a Citadel pot. And they are just over a pound cheaper. So, yeah, definitely um, better value for money. And they're less likely to dry up over time. So, there's always that to consider, but I think um, if you're comparing anything to a Citadel product, it's probably going to work out cheaper. Um, but if you can get similar results, or even even better, then it's um, a no-brainer really, unless you just want to stick 
two of the more um, well-known colours, especially if you follow along with tutorials online, um, a lot of them will just use Siddle colours. But again, they match up quite quite well, so it wouldn't be too hard to sort of convert over. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope to do more sort of versus reviews in the future. I've got a couple of ideas for some future ones, so look forward to that. And again, a big thank you to White Angel Miniatures. Do check them out um, if these sort of miniatures are your thing and you have a 3D printer. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next video.